Uh, so this is episode number two. Uh, this is me just putting on my hard hat uh, for all of you in construction. Hard hats are like <laughs> the fashion statement. And then this is me just walking to the Connex and getting everything that I need. I know I didn't show in the last video, but that is like a huge thing about being an apprentice. It's just getting parts, even if it's not for you. It's just getting stuff from the Connex. Uh, as an apprentice, like you don't know too much, so you help with what you can. Uh, so even if it's just making a walk and grabbing materials, uh, I'm helping where I can. Uh, here I'm just cleaning fittings. I try to, like later you'll see in a couple seconds, I try to like clean the fitting right here by just getting the drill to spin it for me. Uh, I completely botch it, just butcher it as my, my foreman is watching. I like get nervous and just start doing it by hand because I messed it up. Uh, just remember like the saying, like slow is smooth and smooth is fast. So take your time and make sure everything is done right. Like right there was like a good example of something I could have gone slower and probably gotten right if I was just gone slower. So I need a rush get everything done right and then this is just a different angle of me just cleaning the fittings and getting flux ready to solder and get everything put together and then it was super hot that day it was like in like 103 um for some weird reason i just oh, it was just really hot for me today uh that neck gator thing really does help um, but it also adds extra heat so I was sweating pretty bad uh, unfortunately for me when I was putting up that drain uh, we checked the pipe we cut it out and it was kinked at the bottom like within the concrete so unfortunately we had to start chipping it out uh, it doesn't seem like that bad like it was only two to three inches down but because it's solid concrete and we just have a hammer drill, it takes a lot more time. I was actually having a pretty hard time, especially because the space wasn't too much. As you can tell, like the framers put their metal sheet there and we don't want to rip through it all. So just this tight space was making everything like a lot harder than it needed to be. Um, a lot of this is just like having the space to do work. Uh, my foreman comes in because he sees me struggling and helps me out. Uh, for just privacy reasons, I just blurred his face out the best that I could. Um, but he does help me a lot uh, as like an apprenticeship with like your foreman or your journeyman or whoever's helping you. Uh, they'll help you learn and that's like the whole point. Uh, and they'll assist you when they see that you're struggling. At least the good one will. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, props to my foreman for helping me out. And then this is like another tool that we use to kind of drill holes into walls when we have to run pipe in between them there's like a little plastic piece that goes in between two i don't think you'll see it but copper can't be touching metal because i'm pretty sure like the abrasiveness will like wear and tear over time and this is like an overhead view of me just like setting up the drain uh, just making sure that everything's level and where it needs to be And then you'll see my bandsaw on the left, like that tool is with you all the time, every day, everywhere. Like bandsaws are a must. And then I'm just putting up brackets here. Uh, I actually did it pretty fast here, I think, um, but brackets are a pain to put up. All right, and then right here, you're gonna see that I took that 90 out and it's like green and all musty, ugly looking like. Um, that's because I left it there for too long with the flux and it just turned like that. I'm not sure if I needed to take it off and re-clean it or I could just solder it like that. But just to be better safe than sorry, I cleaned it off with the rag and re-sanded it and then just reapplied flux on everything and got ready to sweat. This is some of like the worst soldering that I've done in a little bit. I was told that I needed to put more solder on my fittings so because I put more solder on my fittings it actually started to like just pour down and drip down and it just looked really bad uh, I had someone like when they looked over my work they told me that that it was like the worst part so I'll definitely try to get better uh, and then this is me again just putting brackets uh, you're gonna see me 
spacing in between and like pull out my tape. It's like 16 inches from each center because the sheetrock guys need, like the framing guys need there to be like a certain amount of distance in between each one. So little details. And then that screw in the middle was just to make sure that like they don't fold into each other and it keeps like the 16 and inches apart. And then this is me just putting everything away and cleaning up. Uh, and then that was pretty much my day. There's a lot more to the day, but this is the best that I could record and the most that I could record. So I, I appreciate y'all watching uh, and taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It means a lot.